Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm just really excited because I have a whole bunch of new makeup and skincare that I've purchased. And it's exciting because they came like literally Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I picked up a bunch of things from ColourPop, YesStyle, and Sephora.com. Let's just, let's just get started, okay? Let, 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 let's just get started. So I'm actually gonna start first with ColourPop Cosmetics because I actually just filmed a tutorial on this look right Right here so pretty much if you've got if you guys if you guys have watched my September favorites video you'll know that I've really really been digging ColourPop eyeshadows super shock eyeshadows so I wanted to pick up a couple of more shades a couple of more a couple more shades I picked up three shades because it was buy two get one free I actually use Sundance today which is what I have on my lids right now and it's just this really gorgeous bright copper shade with a bunch of silver oh my gosh it's so pretty silver glitter and stuff on it I guess I'll just put it on my hand that is the shade lightning bug it's kind of like the shade Lala that I use in my affordable back-to-school makeup tutorial but it's more glam the next shade that I bought is this shade Sundance Oh my god, did you crack? Oh my gosh, god bless. Okay, it's kind of similar to Sundance, but it's not as orange. Kind of reddish brown, but kind of reminds me of Lala. This would be good for what I do in that tutorial where you just swipe over your lid and blend it out. And then the last shade I got was the shade Millionaire. And it's this gorgeous dark brown with, I believe, gold flecks in it. Let's swatch this right here. Uh, I mean, I just focus everything so you guys can really see how pigmented and glittery and gorgeous these shades are. I highly, highly recommend ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. They're super creamy, super pigmented, and they're really easy to use, honestly. And next, I bought the brush bundle, and I use them literally today, so just excuse how dirty they look. It's really cute, you can carry everything around, and these brushes are honestly really good. I really, really love this one brush for the Super Shock Shadows. I didn't use my fingers for my lid shade today. I used this brush, and it picked up the lightning bug like a dream. If you're a beginner, I highly recommend just picking up this bundle, and you'll be set for honestly, you'll just be set, okay? Okay, the next thing that I also have on my face that I picked up from ColourPop, I picked up the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I picked up the shade Light 20. I thought it was a little bit light for me, but then it ended up kind of working really well with the rest of my makeup, kind of balancing out and highlighting the high points of my face. It's really creamy and upon first impressions, I think I might have found the perfect drugstore concealer. I really, really like this. Okay, and the last thing that I picked up from ColourPop is the famous Yes Please eyeshadow palette. I've never tried the pressed powders before so I thought you know what since I love the super shock shadows so much why don't I try out their pressed powder formula. I ended up just really enjoying this eyeshadow palette. They're super pigmented. Very, they blend really easily and I like the color scheme. It's very summer to fall so it's perfect for right now. Okay, so I guess the next place I'm going to be talking about is YesStyle.com and if you guys haven't watched my previous haul, I talked about how YesStyle is my favorite go-to online retailer for Korean skincare or Asian skincare. I actually didn't really go that overboard, but I picked up a couple of essentials for me that I was running low on. So I talked about my favorite Hymish All Clean Balm. This was in my July, August favorites video, but I still really love this clean cleansing balm. It takes off all my waterproof makeup, so I really, really like this, so I picked this up. And I also picked up another one. I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but I'm starting to pick up a couple of extra products when I shop because I want to do a giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers. And then I actually picked up a simple cleanser, and this is from Shiseido, and it's their Senka Perfect with cleanser. I tried this at my friend's house and I really like this. It just made my face feel super clean. The next thing that I picked up two of is this Snail Bee High Content Essence. This is really bomb. Like I said in my favorites video, this just really helped my skin get rid of all my imperfections, I guess, like some of my acne. I don't know if this would work for everybody, but it is. it does say it's for all skin types, so I wanted to include this in my giveaway. And then the next thing that I also picked up because I said I was breaking out a couple of videos ago, CosRx Pimple Patches. I actually ripped one open and I tried it yesterday and I have a big pimple up here and it 
did go down quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to try these out and I'll let you guys know if I like these or not, but it definitely worked last night, I think. Wow, okay. I was a little excessive with this, but I picked up four eyebrow pencils and they're all the same ones. They're from Tony Moly and it's a lovely eyebrow pencil in the shade number three, gray brown. I really like cool tone eyebrow pencils and I hope this works with my eyebrow color. And the last thing that I picked up from YesStyle, this was cute so I couldn't help it. I don't know if it's good or not, but it's cute. So I had to get one for you and one for me. It is the Holika Holika Lazy Enjoy Egg Bun Puff. It's just a beauty sponge. Let's, let's open it. Oh my god, it's so cute. It feels really, really hard, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I mean, we'll, we'll have to see. But I really wanted to buy this because it's really cute, so I bought one for you. Yeah. We're getting there, we're getting there. So from Sephora, I bought this Sephora Favorite Skin Wonderland. I think this, this is kind of box usually comes out for the holidays. It has all these luxury skincare products and they give you little travel sizes and just trial sizes and it has, actually has a full size. As you guys know, I'm really into skincare and I wanted to try a couple of products so I thought why not get this big favorites box. Actually what got me was this mini Foreo and I'm really excited to try this Coconut Skin Priming Moisturizer for Save Beauty, Dr. Dennis Gross Smooth and Polish Two Step Daily Peel Shrinks the Look of Pores for Flawless Makeup Application. I'm excited to try this. Then we get a Olay Henriksen Truth Serum and a more Pacific Essential Cream Fluid, Bosha Pore Affecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer, Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask from Fresh, Maracuja Sea Brighter, Sea Brighter, uh huh, Sea Brighter, Maracuja Sea Brighter Eye Treatment from Tarte, It Cosmetics Bye Bye. Eye makeup, 3-in-1 Makeup Melt and Cleansing Balm, Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment, Josie Moran's Whipped Argan Oil, Vanilla Apricot, The Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream, and a Sunday Riley CEO C Plus E Protect and Repair Moisturizer. So I'm just super pumped to try all these skincare products. I will let you know how I feel about everything, I don't know, in, in a couple months. If I purchase a full size, you'll definitely find out. Every time the holidays rolls around, I feel like every year or so, I pick up this double duo set of the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's one of my favorite setting sprays, so I always pick this up because it is a steal. And then, friend Sarah commented on my last YSL video on my Facebook page, and she said to try out Fenty Beauty. I only picked up foundation, and this is just the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I got the shade 190. I think it'll work. I think I'm gonna do a first impression slash wear test just like I did in the YSL video. And then, oh, uh, I I don't know how I feel. I picked up the ABH Subculture palette. I didn't get it because of all the drama and of how much kick up and whatever, but I ended up picking it up. I used it yesterday. I actually really like it. It does have a lot of kick up, but that's the same with any other ABA palette, to be honest. I don't mind it a lot. All you gotta do is tap off the excess. I'm really happy that I picked up this palette because I'm a huge fan of ABA shadows. I just couldn't not get this palette, you know? And I noticed that the brush changed. The smaller flat shader brush used to have like a white tip, but it has a dark gray tip, so. I don't know, maybe it'll apply differently. And then I picked up two Sephora waterproof um, eye pencils. I picked up the shade Jeremy Sue. And I also picked up the shade Black. No, Black Lace. Jeremy Sue is a matte brown and this is a matte black. I picked up another beauty blender and this one was just because it was pink and marbled and I love beauty blenders so why not? With my purchase, I actually got Sephora Playbox. It, it was like a New York City exclusive. It comes with a cute card. It gives you a little card where you can get 50 extra Beauty Insider points with your next purchase. It always comes with like a nice, cute theme, I believe. Make the moisture of it, cleanse with benefits. The prime is now out of the blue. Erase to the finish, that's funny. The liner thing in life. The Play Playbox is a monthly $10 box, I believe, and they send you a bag, and so you got a perfume sample, pencil, waterproof liner, Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover. I actually really, really like this. Uh, the Purity from Philosophy, which you guys know I don't really care for that much. Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Mm, I have this, it's okay. Alrighty, so that's, oh no. I also had a lot of Sephora point. Got the 500 point perk, which is the Laura Mercier Flawless Favorites in One Essential Collection. I wanted to try this because I never tried the Laura Mercier powder. Wow, this 
primer is pretty huge. It's a little cute lipstick. Very, very cute. A few small setting powders. So that is it for my haul. I feel like it was very, like, it was just very all over the place because I'm really, really excited. I haven't bought makeup or skincare before this since my last huge haul. If you guys want anything really kind of reviewed, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. I have this ColourPop tutorial coming up for you guys. I had the Fenty Beauty review and wear test coming up. Maybe I'll do a look with the Subculture palette and... I just have so much makeup to play with, play with and I'm really excited. Not that I needed anything else anymore, but I'm just really excited. I'm really happy. I hope you guys enjoy this super massive haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this video and if you guys felt my excitement through the camera. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have a giveaway coming hopefully by the end of this year. That's it. That's it. I'm really excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna go clean up my mess now because it's a mess. Thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you in my next one.